Chapter 3 just got released, so I thought it was about time I made another solo Let's Play. There will be a PvP Let's Play coming as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that if that's something you're interested in. But because there are a lot of new players and my first episode of my first Let's Play was actually my first YouTube video ever, it may not be the best guide for starting out. I do sequentially do other guides now because of that fact. But I was going to treat this one like a little mini walkthrough itself to uh, help those new players out. So I'm going to assume most people don't know what's happening. I'm probably still going to go a little bit quick for very, very, very new people. But I'm going to play more to the style that's new player friendly rather than what you could do if you've been playing for a while. So if it's a bit slow, if you've been playing for a while, I do apologize for that. But hopefully you can still learn some things along the way and have a fun journey with us. But if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Illybat. I play a lot of survival games and Conan Exiles is definitely one of them. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. It's nice to see you. And enough with all of that, let's begin. So you've just created your character, you've landed in the exiled land. Now you want to press J because survival, <laughs> survival, journeys, I'm already starting so well. Journey steps are even more crucial than before. Like I am already a huge fan of journey steps for leveling and stuff, but now they give you things. That and they actually are useful. They show you what to do, where to go, like useful stuff. So the first journey step we are going to want to try and attempt. Take your first steps. Seems accurate. Investigate the smoke, search for supplies, eat and drink. Pretty standard. The smoke one's new. Gather plant fiber, craft and clothing, spend attribute points. All these are standard. Gather stone and branches and craft a stone pick. That's a little different, but you have to craft a stone pick. So they're like really holding your hand through that process now. Not sure how much um, XP we're going to get from all of this type of stuff. And I'm fairly sure like you can't activate the next one until you've activated like the predecessors to it. And then you've got to go to a little thing down here and go switch journey step. It doesn't just like automatically achieve. Which is a little odd, but we'll discover that, I guess, as we go. I did a little bit of testing on Test Live, but I'm still pretty much discovering it. So, take my first steps. All done. I wonder if, like, reading the tablet does nothing now. I don't think any of that kicking and stuff does anything. Let's run down the broken highway. Nothing around here is going to hurt you until you get to about the river unless there is a sandstorm and then unless they've changed that you, you could get got a little bit so that sucked oh we've got some boxes that's fun we're gonna meet straight away and the craft i'm quite renowned for always forgetting where the water skin is on the way there used to be like a little rock with a water skin on if you didn't know and i like to always walk past nothing in here cool gather some of these stones by picking them up it is still four times allegedly Oh, there's this water skin. It's two water skins now. That seems weird. Uh, do note that the Catan caravans, if you have played before, there's all these caravans with dudes you can buy stuff off. They're still in the spots where they were. Plus, they've also added new things, which we get to discover. I'll be doing some guides on the new things because obviously it's going to take me a minute to get there on this new character. But if you're new to the game, it's much more friendly for you because you'll get to learn. But I generally wander around here and get a few stones. A lot of this gameplay won't be what I usually do because I usually, well, I don't speed run. I'm in max a bit and I like go to the place where I want to get got and go. And we're going to take a little bit slower. Might still build somewhere in the deserty area because that is the beginning spot for most people. And there are some really pretty spots. And there's a really nice thrall cave where we can get a nice head start, so I'll probably build something here about. We'll have a look. Because I know running up to some like crazy leveled areas can be quite daunting if you haven't played the game, or even if you have. It's, uh, it takes a little bit of skill to avoid a lot of crazy things attacks, and then even I myself die constantly up in those places. I just know how to get back there quickly, and a lot of people don't, so... Let's let's take it slow this time. Still making our way down the highway. Whoa, he scared me even though I know he can't hurt me. I wasn't expecting him. So we want to plant fiber, come gather plant fiber. Okay, so I still got to gather a bit more. Is that enough yet? Okay, craft, wear clothing. Let's make it dot, dot, done. Spend attribute points. Okay, uh, probably go a bit of encumbrance with expertise. Strength also gives you a little bit of encumbrance, but not a huge amount. I do like some strength and some vitality are generally the ones I go with first, and then probably like some grit. I focus on things like agility and authority later when I need 
them more. Especially in solo player, I, agility is not super beneficial for me right now. I'm not going to be killing a lot of stuff. So let's maybe put these into encumbrance so we can be my expertise, sorry, whatever it's called now. It's like survival and encumbrance mixed together. Okay, search for more survivors. The road leads north out of the southern desert. Follow it and search for more exiles. I'd say that's probably like scout and exile camp, which was one of the old journey stops. I'm pretty sure I should be able to like skip ahead. So like, let's see. Raft, raft, wraps. Let's try and see that. Uh, whoop, if we can do that and it will um tick off the journey step. It didn't. I don't love that. It's super annoying when games make you not achieve stuff because you've been run or min-maxed a bit and then like you can't. Wow. So if I heal myself now, that won't count. And I have to heal myself later when I get to that little point. If I achieve any of these journey steps before achieving its predecessor, it doesn't fucking count and I have to do it again. I can skip the journey, sure, but then I don't get the stuff and that's annoying. So how about, you know, it suck. That is very annoying. Whatever. Okay, forward. I haven't even checked out the new battle pass either. Okay, cool. Um, wow, it's just like, take me all the way here. Why does it say that I'm level 60? I'm not. What is going on? I just had to refresh and it fixed it. That was confusing. I didn't like it. Ah, uh, that's cool. That counts from me doing that earlier. I'm going to cheat and take that. I don't usually claim like the 30s and stuff. I like to wait for the multipliers to multiply, get a bunch of them, go over to single player server usually. I'll probably go over to Sipta to not cheat on this character too much. Um, and then I'd like create a golem over there and then do the higher level ones to try and achieve your battle pass much quicker. Now, while we're starting off and we're already in the menus, lots of people don't know how to create a clan. So you just come to this clan section and you type in your name of your clan there. That will create the clan. And then I'm going to give myself a clan. If you don't want to, if you're a solo player and you're playing on a multiplayer server that doesn't require you to have a clan and like it's pvp probably don't because a little bit more oh who's that unless they're online unless again they've changed that you can see who the building belongs to something to test out when i play on the new pvp server but let's call ourselves battle puddle because whoa apparently i was already in caps lock well whatever it's happening uh you can change it after the fact as well you can change it as many times you want a day but if you do change it some of your boxes might wig out and like say your old clan name some people do that to also try and confuse people doesn't really work because seasoned pvpers will look at the playlist all the time and recognize stuff and then this way if you have any people in your clan oh it tells you who the clan name was modified now by that's new i like that um whoever's in your clan you can like upgrade their rank and stuff i guess because it's only me it's not gonna do nothing but yeah that's how you create a clan and you can invite people to your clan by holding e on them and then going invite clan <laughs> So I guess before we do anything else, I want to go try and find some survivors. Meanwhile, always crafting stuff on the go. Now, you don't have to do stuff in way of the journey steps, mind. Like, that's not a thing you have to do in any way, shape or form. But we're testing it out because it's new. So, and I want free things. And I also like doing things like somewhat efficiently still. So I'm, I don't want to like repeat steps I've already done. <laughs> Oh, oh, are you? Yay, look, look at us go. I don't even have a weapon yet. I'm going to climb a tree and look at the. Oh, nope, no stamina. Let's climb a tree. Maybe not very well. Climbing trees and staying on a tree is going to make you more thirsty. So you want to be quite full. I don't know why it makes you so thirsty hanging about, but it does drain your food and stamina a lot. Food and water a lot quicker. Oh, this one. Gather stone. See, I've been gathering stone and branches, man. Harvest stone with your stone pick. Craft a stone weapon. Follow the road down the desert. The road leads further north. It is time to leave the scorching heat of the desert behind. You can open your map by pressing M. Your map is always available to you and you have a marker list of locations. Like, I, okay, let's proceed. I need to gather some stones, even though I've already gathered some stone. We'll gather some more. Oh, gathered a branch. Didn't mean to do that. To gather more branches. There should be a lot around here. There we are. I do hope they don't change it from four times XP. I would prefer that. It does slow down the game slightly, so I'm sure all the PVE people will be super stoked. Craft a stone weapon. I don't even have a stone weapon left. They haven't even told me to do that yet. 
Learn that. I'm in admin mode, that's why I have that thing. Whoa. Curse. No, fuck off. I mean, I didn't swear. You can't climb while you're taking damage, so bleed and stuff like that. These exile camps are kind of good sources of crafting trolls. The fighters don't even bother with them. Oh, what are we doing? Eat our haunch. Take a sip from our water skin, which we can also put in our hot bar. Do I want a club? Sure. I will run up and learn the Jafari weapons. If you don't know what they are, it's like an axe and stuff that you can make in your inventory. Much better. You learn them down here. So we are quite far away. That's probably going to be the majority of the rest of this episode is journeying that way. My old character has some bases about, so at some point I'll raid them. There's lots of thralls and crazy stuff and maybe even some free loot for me that won't be necessarily easily to come by, but Semi represents what you can encounter on not wildly populated PvP servers. So craft a bedroll, about time. Oh, and they fixed that now, so across the twine and the bedroll. That's nice of them uh you generally want to place a bedroll somewhere where you're not going to spawn in on a like turtle or something we can hack these guys up because that gives experience plus also some food so we'll cook at some point i like to touch eggs because they do give food and water they take pretty quick to expire but if you use an axe you can hit the branches on the ground and uh, get a lot more branches for your buck so we actually might even craft an axe but my crafting speed is wildly turned up just because on single player when you log out stuff doesn't craft automatically and i find that very annoying also but also makes sense because no one's hosting the server so i turned up crafting speed so stuff could get done in a reasonable manner and same with these little stones you can hit those rather than pick them up with a pick and get a lot more and it'll just disappear after one hit I want to place my bedroll maybe up on this rock because there's nothing much can get me here. That is my old very first hut, so I... Oh, you can't place stuff up on rocks anymore. Rude. Um, maybe I'll climb up this ledge. Place my bedroll nice and high up away from anything that may attack me on the way. And I'm spawning in. Woo. Let's put a, you don't want to use bandages while you're in battle because you stop for quite some time. It's not ideal if you're fighting things, obviously. You can roll out of the animation at some point. Okay, I need to switch out where this is because that's insane. Play an enemy. Good timing. I was about to do that. They're really implying before you do dumb shit, put down a bedroll. <laughs> So most of these camps you find a fighter and a crafter, but not always. Sometimes you will find just two fighters or sometimes two crafters. That's way rarer. Don't you kick me. Loot them. I probably want to make a skinning knife as well because I'm going to get more stuff from that. There it go, there I went. But you can use a pick or an axe to get a little bit of everything. Or a pickaxe. But I mostly want that right now. Now I have to craft more rough map too. That's right. Probably needed more anyway. Heal myself. Sure. Oh. I can't. There we go. You have to wait a certain period to, until you can roll out of that. Harvest meat from a corpse. They think I am shitter at fighting than I am. I'm not too great. But let's see if there's anything in here I can still. Nope. Beep. Okay. Let's refill that water skin. Just click on it and then this one just click on it don't have to have it equipped or nothing like kill this guy dead so an axe is going to give you more meat like a um meat cleaver does this actually want me to use meat cleaver i have to fully harvest it maybe but yeah these are walking you through what to do a lot better like y'all don't even know you do need me <laughs> fun come tries but you you'll still do need me oh man well now we have to refill our water skin again it looks like we're about to have an eclipse also they're kind of cool kind of pretty that's a god bubble in the distance you can see it much further because i'm on single player 
We feel our wanted skin. Unlock the primitive cook knowledge. So what happens if I've already unlocked that now that it doesn't... Do I have to mind wipe before that will unlock? I'm going to test that next time. It also makes me wary of doing anything in this game. That's kind of cool. Um, Don't know why it's moving so quickly. Do I have daytime and stuff speed turned up? I don't know. It's a bit weird. I was taking screenshots. Continue on with the journey. Access or place a fireplace. Oh, that's right. I get I get options with that. We'll craft one. Let's get rid of the meat in my inventory so I don't accidentally eat that and get myself food poisoning. Cool. Somewhere away from old mate. Still more of their eggs. And even though this is kind of graphic. Why won't it? Oh, you can't even do it anymore. You used to be able to kill them and skin them at the same time. Not worth doing it then. Less efficient. Let's go. Give you more eggs for my journey. It's quite easy to raise a turtle army. Not wildly worth it unless you really suck at the game and you super need help. But they're going to die pretty quickly regardless until you can get a decent authority build which you won't get for a while. Only focus on graders if you insist on having a turtle army. Can help you against purges, I guess. But like having lots of followers like that is dangerous against purges as well because if there's something that you actually want, it's really hard to actually get them because there are turtles everywhere. Oh no! Oh no! Come back, stamina. Can you not all have daggers? Okay, I need to bandage. This isn't going to end up well for me. Okay, it did kind of work. No, ah! Just keep running. You have like none stamina. It's kind of annoying. Ah! I need to get up here so I can bandage. They might start healing, so you want to do this kind of quickly. Ah! There she her. She was almost dead. You can get a shield and block also. Kind of beneficial. Of course, she's going to have to get a knife. Oh, a little bit of light armor for us. That's why it is kind of worthy killing these dudes because they're not too hard to kill. Let's craft some actual aloe potions. And I suppose make a fireplace. As it so desperately requires us to do so. so. Cook some meats. So you can put a various different spark, oil, coal as well in there to do it. It's going to take the best one first now. It used to take the shittest one, which was annoying. Putting seeds and meat in there, seeds and meat, seeds and grass is going to make gruel, which is a nice little snack because it also gives you water and isn't too heavy. So I usually make a little bit of that as well. I change this to heaviest so I can drop stuff really quickly when I'm too full. Take all of that, then we're going to pick up our fireplace again because we want it. And eat a meat and a potion. Potions heal you much quicker and meat does give you some regeneration as well, but it's not a lot. Pretty slow. Let's see what we got here. Definitely focus on vitality first. Get our little buff. So we won't get as hungry and thirst anymore, which is kind of nice. And, ooh, that was a big fall. I <laughs> didn't mean to do that on with our mission. Ah, imps are trying to get me. The audacity. That's okay, they're pretty easy. Hi. Hacking them up can give you mostly feral flesh, but a little bit of leather and sometimes volatile glands. So we are heading on up underneath this kind of location and we'll be kind of looping back around to over here. So we won't really be going beyond this western end of the desert this episode. Keep it nice and slow, like I said. Get a little bit aloe. Aloe is always handy. A sickle is beneficial, but there are no sickles that made of stone. So you have to wait until you get a blacksmith bench or happen to get one from some loot from a box or a thrall's pocket or something. Or eggs. And like if you were really trying to level up quickly you'd be killing all of these guys as well along the way because they're a decent amount of XP and they're not too hard to kill. Kind of armory so do take a sec. Especially when you got no strength. Whoa, I, I paused to like cough for a second and then like fucking 
named Carpenter just like tried to get me. I was not expecting that in the slightest. I don't think I'm gonna have enough stamina to get away from them. Maybe I did. Holy woly! Calm down. Now you can't drink potions or bandage yourself whilst hanging in a tree, but you can eat some food, which is gonna passively give you some. Certain foods tell you better than other foods. Does tell you on your stats. So like now I ate that. It's gonna give me one. It overrides it when you eat it. I'm getting three points. <sighs> Gruel, I think one point yeah it's better off eating the best meat that you possibly can or the best meal feast so i'm gonna hang out here for a moment while i regen some health and i'll be back yeah if y'all can't tell i am even more husky than usual because i am recovering from a bit of a cold so i do apologize for that um not that i'm not usually like super dwaying anyway but i digress i'll be back in a moment once i'm healed now while you're hanging around waiting eternally apparently forever to passively heal you really i'm not passively heal but slowly heal from your grilled steaks you can go ahead and craft yourself some extra armor if you like it's not going to particularly help you out that much it does add a little bit of a buff so if you are getting too hot or cold or something like that it can help you ever so slightly and give you a smidgen of armor i usually don't bother because i kill some things and it'll drop but for the sake of this video Video, we're gonna craft ourselves a little outfit and we're all dressed up now we're all healed we can go see if we can't kill them but where is our bedroll mm, it's not too far away it's a little far away and that could be annoying it is a good idea to also craft a multitude of bedrolls i don't have enough fiber currently but i can craft there are two types of bedrolls if you didn't know that and that torches all this stuff can be made in your inventory but to create building pieces you have to unlock this which unlocks construction hammer which allows you to then build stuff i'm going to unlock that now it's probably going to tell me i'm wrong and i need to do that later but oh, we'll see i usually like to go through and unlock all of this straight away so i can get things done but the game wants us to go slow we're gonna go slow jump down off here try not to like axe yourself in the process you won't regen stamina while you're up there fyi we've got a bit more free stuff you can hack up you can also uh create an actual I kind of want him, but I have no ways of getting him. Take her out first because she has a great axe and she sucks. So even with a stone great axe, that move's going to like not be... Ooh, great. Can she die? See? See? It wasn't great. He sundered me. Now I'm going to die. I'm not. Never. You will never get me. It's going to take me a minute to heal again. They can't swim, so you can swim out into water to avoid them, but he is going to then heal, or she is going to heal. Sometimes you can get one to leave and the other one to stay, kind of kite them off slowly. Use a bow and arrow works nicely too. I don't know why I really did that. Should be healing with a potion. You can move ever so slightly whilst using a potion. That's why it's better when you're in battle. We get nice and healed. These guys are going to have their HP back. I don't really know if they're worth it. Yeah. Okay. We got one down. That's promising. Now, usually you can do something like that, get far enough away from them to heal a little bit and then kind of keep moving. You can wait until they attack before you go in. I am generally a suck. There is a little bit of hyper armor, so if you're wearing light armor or have no armor on, you are more likely to roll further. Hyper armor while rolling. I should say more specifically. Uh, as I was saying, you can actually make a meat cleaver, which is going to give you a lot more meat from the turtles that they killed or like these other things. So we can hack that guy up. We now know from the journey step telling us that they're going to stay for 30 minutes, even though we already knew that before. That is going to give us a lot more steak than we would have previously got from the random chance by using an axe or whatever. I'm pretty sure a cleaver is more likely to give you a head as well. Let's eat a little bit of steak or maybe even put some in here so we heal that little bit along the way. Yeah, that's small eggs. Yeah, killing this guy's gonna give you a little bit of XP. Depends how much you really want it. Couple more little exiled camps along the way to take out, get your chance to get some stuff. I'm gonna try really hard to not die here. Making something like the mace first off is pretty decent because it does give that sunder on heavy attacks. Excuse you, ma'am. Most of the time. <laughs> Didn't then. 
or something like that. Whoa! Excuse you, sir. I wasn't prepared to get ganked. That was so rude. Oh, okay, that's right. He went off to fight something else. We'll kill her quickly. You can use the environment to your advantage like that as well. Watch them kill each other. They're both low now. Kill him. Pack him up for his meat. Pretty valid strat. Kite over some... Oh, I can... Yes, I've got a shield now, although I, I don't know what Jenny's steps are <laughs> anymore. Very loot him. Oh, and I got some free boots off this guy. So they're more consistently dropping some light armor, which is nice. And some coarse stuff. I got two-handed greatsword. A lot of other random crap I can probably drop. I don't think I need the bones either. Some scribbled notes that mean nothing. Get rid of those. Bone broth. There's some more over there, and there's also a guy up here that's a one skull kind of crazy guy. You can knock them out, or at least you could. I thought I made more bed rolls, my bed didn't. Uh, they also usually drop armor. I don't think that's probably a very good spot. Let's pick you up again. Really put it up over here. So, again, like you're not going to get ganked as you're spawning in. Stuff's ridiculous to climb sometimes. Pressing R is going to align stuff to the terrain. It's not enough room from spawn points, rude. Uh, you can usually find it by just like spamming around. Don't let it tell you no. Unless it says no building allowed here, then that is a definite no. It's good when they wander because then you can take off one at a time. Pressing Q is going to allow you to lock on. I don't love locking on because it's hard to get away when you really have to sometimes. And sometimes you'll join servers that they have lock-on disabled, so you can't rely on it if you're on PvP. It is kind of handy sometimes. They have fixed the animation, so you are much better at being able to, like, hit them. Which is nice. Okay, so I think we've finished the other journey step. We have! So we've unlocked some of these. Oh, these are where those things are. Survival shelter, unlock. Okay, well, we're not doing that yet, although we did do some of that. Um, We'll do it again. It's okay. Because we're fighting a bunch of stuff, we should probably do this because we're going to get some hand wraps, which is cool. Nice, nice. Now we can dodge, we can kick, lock onto a target. Where'd this guy go? Did they kill each other? That's very convenient for me. <laughs> So this guy generally has some fun things like that. I'm going to take this with me. This stuff gives you carry capacity, so it's pretty worth getting. Sure, sure. Now, as I probably have to craft another stone hatchet, anyway, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need a million skinning knives. Actually, I need one skinning knife. Probably the one with the most durability. And there were loud noises, and now I got, like, fully distracted. We are almost at the end of the episode. Not quite yet, though, so don't tune out. We are uh, going to go learn the Tafari Bone weapons. Which is going to enable us to get an axe, which is a pretty decent axe for uh, PvE, PvP in the beginning. Because you can't make an axe until you get... Sorry about my clicking always as well. You can't get an axe until you get a blacksmith bench, usually, and a bunch of iron. And that is... Oh, I forgot to target lock onto him. That's okay. Um, that's a lot of effort when you first start out. It's meant to be an episode about doing my journey steps. I'm even doing my journey steps. Lock on. Okay, cool. Perform a heavy attack. No worries, bro. Don't even have to perform it at anything. So applying sunder is actually a journey step. So I got to hit him four times with a heavy attack with this mace. If you're using a warhammer, it is just every heavy attack. Another fun thing, if you need some yellow lotus, which you use these to eventually make mine wipes and stuff with, you can use a pick to harvest them much more than you can by hand, which is handy. It only works on lotuses. It's not going to work on, like, aloe. It's just going to give you bugs and stuff from bushes. So, yeah. But rather than getting, like, four, yellow more. Definitely worth it. I got a lot of steak. I should make a fireplace. We'll put another bedroll down just a little bit further make another fire so while we're going and killing stuff we can cook things i wonder if also if you change journey steps while you're doing it whether it's going to um negate the progress i need to check that quickly 
Because there's an iron stone just over there that you can harvest, or is it over there? Over there or over there, I can't actually see right now. There's a Gatan caravan here, if you didn't know, you can kill sorcerers and give their sorcerers heads to a little pot and get things called ancient obelisks. And buy things like thralls and weapons and supply caches and things, it's really worthy to visit them. So keep your eye out for any sorcerers while you're in the area. I definitely want to try and find a place where a couple of sorcerers are at to build a little starter base first. Because that is definitely a strat to get yourself going. When we look around here, there are not any enemies, so it looks like a good place that we can place a bedroll on the ground. Because sometimes you'll kill all the enemies and like forget a little bit. Going up here is going to lead you to a dance that we may or may not get in the next episode. We'll see if I remember. And then just a bit further down, there is the religious teacher of Yog, which we will probably also touch along the way. Because having all the different religions is quite beneficial to having their different crafting recipes and stuff. Some of them are cool. Part of my meat cooking, and so I'm not so heavy, I've put some of the random trash I need less on there. I need none of this. Dry wood is a very decent source of fuel. Couldn't think of the word, just them for a second. So I also need to block an attack, so that's nice. A lot of dudes here, so be kind of wary. It's a little bit inconvenient of a place to come to try and do anything first up. I like to kind of run in and out because, yeah, effort. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Unlock defender knowledge. I haven't done that yet, though. Okay, we'll kill the Tafari man. The Tafari's drop Tafari armor, which gives you bonus strength, which isn't horrible. Bang. I hate crickle. Cripple. Little cripple. That word. Hopefully he's not going to follow us all this way. He might though. I'm going to heal while I'm looking at my defender journey step. Where is that? Where would that be? See how often I use shields? I don't even know where the bloody journey step is. Okay, block an attack now. Now we can block a bloody attack. They still mess me up. So that's cool. Oh, look. There he is. Oh, get it. You can block an arrow attack. That will work. Oh, we're about to have another eclipse again. Apparently they happen regularly. Okay, ooh. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, ah, no. No, thank you. I should have died a few times then, but thank god for hype armor. They can't get me here though. Rude. Okay, let's unlock these knowledge steps. It's actually a sandstorm, so I'm probably gonna die anyway. I should go back over towards my bedroll because you die from that. I never even got to touch the Tafari stuff, so that's going to be at the beginning of next episode. If you found this episode enjoyable, please do smash that like button, and I hope you join me on the next episode as we attempt to not die and do things slow. Uh, yeah, I've had fun, and until next time, hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.